Siberian Husky and Alaskan Malamute look very similar, yet they have many differences. Both of them have a wolf-like appearance, sled dog heritage, and a long history in harsh winters. Understandably, the Siberian Husky and Alaskan Malamute are often confused. Both breeds are extremely friendly with people. Let's get to know these fabulous dogs. But before we start, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon for more information like this. Let's get started. Appearance the Alaskan Malamute has a dense double coat. The outer coat is also known as the guard coat and should not be soft. The undercoat is one or two inches deep and is only to prevent any wetness or cold. Malamutes have longer coat lengths near the shoulders and neck. Its tail resembles a coarse crew that allows them to keep its tail on its nose to keep it warm at cold temperatures. This breed's coat colors range from light gray to black sable and shades of sable to red. The underbelly is more white as compared to other parts of the body. Siberian Huskies have a medium-length double coat, the top coat is straight and the undercoat is soft and dense. The coat color varies from black to white with different colored spots on the body. The spots can be red or copper eyes are brown, blue or a combination of both. Size Male Alaskan male mutes are 25 inches tall whereas females are 23 inches tall. Males of this breed weigh around 85 pounds and females weigh around 75 pounds. An average male Siberian Husky stands between 21 and 23.5 inches high, while the females average 20 to 22 inches. The male weighs between 45 and 60 pounds and the female 35 to 50 pounds. Lifespan Both breeds generally live healthy. The life expectancy of an Alaskan Malamute is 10 to 12 years, whereas the lifespan of Huskies range from 12 to 15 years. However, some dogs live longer than average. Shedding Alaskan Malamutes shed heavily and you can find hair on furniture, clothing, carpeting, etc. Their hair falls out in large clumps. Shedding depends on different factors like seasonal change, hormonal change or pregnancy. Shedding is a natural cycle of the body to get rid of dead or damaged hair. Siberian Huskies shed moderately around the year. However, they shed heavily twice a year. Heavy shedding is during the seasonal change when they shed their undercoat. It is recommended to brush your Siberian Husky at least once a week during the heavy shedding period to control shedding around your home. Grooming Male mutes require regular brushing and bathing. With this double-coated breed, proper bathing and drying techniques lay the groundwork for achieving a beautiful coat and healthy skin. When the coat is dirty, it tends to become rough and therefore regular bathing has required. The coat needs to be brushed weekly to prevent matting. Siberian Huskies need lesser grooming as compared to other double-coated dogs. This breed needs brushing weekly to prevent tangles in the coat. Nails should be trimmed once a month to prevent any painful tears. Tears Temperament Alaskan Malamutes are affectionate, dignified, playful and loyal. Like other sled dogs, Malamutes have a high prayer drive and chase small animals. These dogs are loving towards people and thrive on human attention. They also often participate in animal therapy programs like visiting patients in hospitals due to their soft nature. Siberian Huskies are intelligent, gentle, outgoing and alert like Alaskan Malamutes. These dogs thrive on human attention. These dogs are generally sociable and friendly with other dogs. Most Siberian Huskies have strong instincts to chase and seize cats and other small animals. Intelligence Both breeds are smart. However, the Siberian Husky is considered more intelligent and cunning as compared to the Alaskan Malamute. According to the Intelligence of Dogs by Stanley Corin, Siberian Husky is rated 77, whereas Alaskan Malamute is ranked 95. Agility both breeds are good at agility training. It helps to maintain their physical and mental strength. However, Siberian Huskies are more energetic as compared to male mutes and therefore it is better at agility activities. Exercise Alaskan Malamutes require sufficient exercise daily to keep them active. According to the American Kennel Club, Malamutes need at least two hours of exercise daily. This helps them to release pent-up energy and enrich mental stimulation. Exercise can involve walking, jogging, hiking, and any other physical exercise. As well as this, they'll also need extra playtime, free time in the garden, and training to help keep their brains active too. Like Alaskan Malamutes, Siberian Huskies need at least two hours of exercise daily. Along with this, Huskies need playtime in the yard and training sessions as well. 
Due to their hunting nature, you might find it hard to get them back once they are let off. Huskies have high endurance and love to do physical exercises. These dogs show destructive behavior if they don't get enough exercise like chewing furniture, ripping the bed sheets, stealing absolutely everything, jumping on you, and the list can continue. Trainability Melamutes are challenging to train in early socialization, helps in the overall development of the pup. These dogs can show dominance as they mature. Boredom is one of the greatest challenges in training Alaskan males. Owners should keep in mind not to include activities that overstimulate them or makes them aggressive. The training sessions should be consistent and ever-changing so they don't get bored. These dogs can be trained in the best possible way by positive reinforcement techniques like giving healthy treats and lots of attention are bound to be more effective. Just like Melamutes, Huskies are also difficult to train. They try to ignore commands that they feel are of no use. Also, they tend to think of themselves as pack leaders when not constantly trained with dominance. Because Siberian Huskies are pack dogs, they will challenge your leadership and test boundaries. You need to show dominance over the pup to train them properly. Like males, positive reinforcement techniques work the best for these dogs. Good with family Malamutes thrive for human attention and are wonderful family pets. They can withstand various games with children. Male love to spend time with family. Like other breeds, they require socialization with other pets to get used to. Like Mel's Huskies, they are wonderful family pets and have become their favorite family pet for the past few decades. They get along well with children as well as senior citizens. Apartment Living Living Alaskan Melamutes are not recommended for apartments, especially small apartments, as they prefer open spaces. Their size makes it difficult for them to move around in an apartment. The best home for an Alaskan male would be a house with an open backyard for them to play. Like Mel's Huskies are not made for apartments. Due to their size, they're highly energetic dogs and prefer open spaces to release pent-up energy. If they live in an apartment, they need plenty of exercise to live a healthy life. However, they should live in open spaces. Separation Anxiety both these breeds are sociable and thrive for the company and therefore face separation anxiety like other dogs. Separation anxiety is more often than not caused by an overprotective obsessive owner. They tend to show symptoms of anxiety like howling or barking. They need mental and physical stimulation to prevent anxiety. As they are highly intelligent, it is harder to house train them. There are different psychological techniques that could be used to reduce anxiety in these breeds such as dog puzzles. These dogs can have varying degrees of anxiety and distress depending on the dog. Health Issues Melamute is generally a healthy dog, but faces a few health issues like other dog breeds. Some of the health issues faced by this breed are hip dysplasia, progressive retinal atrophy pra, corneal dystrophy, glaucoma, and entropion. According to the club survey, hypothyroidism is third on the list of health concerns in Alaskan Melamutes, also, males are prone to losing color on their nose and muscle due to vitiligo and other skin problems. Siberian Huskies also face a few health issues like cataracts, progressive retinal atrophy, corneal dystrophy, hip dysplasia, etc. In order to ensure your Husky remains healthy, it is important to follow a specific diet routine and exercise with proper care and medical attention. Both these breeds live a healthy and long life. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more information.